This is called Crude. I dropped. Rather plop. My brain into a canister of oil. To see if it would float. It bobbed for a moment. Whispering, rather gurgling. This is the worst idea I've ever had. First halfway up, then just an edge before it settled silently. A pulpy mass, barely visible beneath the thick, sticky liquid. I left it out there for over a year to see if it would take the greed, soak up the need for power, but it just cowered in the darkness. All of its crevices eating cake. Too heavy with guilt to plan escape. Eventually, I got tired of locking my keys in the car, trying to remember if I liked Coke or Pepsi, this brand or that, so I lowered my hands into that gooey mess and pulled out a small cannonball. Hard. Heavy. Cold. And unforgiving. I cradled to my bosom and wept, whispering, everything will be okay, and hoping that that was true. But my former brain proceeded to slip out of my arms and onto my right foot before it rolled to a corner to sulk or scheme. I let it be, mostly. I played it all of my favorite tunes, read it all of its favorite books. Eventually, the blackness started to fade, and it rolled around like an apple core. Well, let me ask it a question or two. I let it balance my checkbook. It spat insults at my bravery. I took it to the museum. It developed its better half again. I took it to the symphony, and it will still wouldn't sit with me. Eventually, it helped me write some poetry while reminding me I was empty. So I invited it back in. Rachel Short, by the way.